Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. And thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news. And please watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with myself and David Lindicum. He is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends and your colleagues. And for any cloud news media submissions to feature on the show, please email media at nelsonhilliard.com. This week, 31 million AI type users are left exposed. Security vendor Chrome Tech discovered a MongoDB database instance belonging to AI Type, a company that develops a personalized keyboard app for Google's Android and Apple's iOS. It had no access controls, allowing anyone to connect to it over the internet. The personal details of more than 31 million AI Type users were stored in the database. The keyboard app asks users for full access to their devices. AI Type collects very personal and sensitive information, such as names and email addresses, to birth dates, social media profile data, photos, location, and keystrokes as well. The unsecured MongoDB instance contained 577 gigabytes of data. In Australia this week, local retailers are braced for impact as Amazon launched its online store in Australia. The company said it would offer products across 23 categories. Orders will be filled from Amazon's new fulfillment center in Dandenong South in Melbourne, but already has more than a thousand employees across the country, including staff for its AWS and Kindle brands. Amazon said that thousands of local businesses will use the local platform to sell their products. Australia's traditional bricks and mortar retailers brace themselves for the impact on their $300 billion retail market. The pressure is on for local online operations like Kogan and eBay, as well as the traditional retailers like Harvey Norman, JB Hi-Fi, Meyer, and David Jones. Melbourne opts for cloud in preparation for the population boom. In the coming decades, Melbourne is expected to overtake Sydney as Australia's most populous city, making the speed and cost of delivering services an increasing priority. With the increased population, which is expected to jump by 70,000 within the next 15 years, will put more and more pressure on the services across the city, straining a previously limited technological capacity. The software as a service-based digital service platform that resulted has been built in-house with technology partners Deloitte, Salesforce and MuleSoft in line with the Federal Digital Transformational Agency's human-centered design principles. Over 40 technologists have been involved in the project. This week, Google Artificial Intelligence creates its own AI child. Google's AutoML Artificial Intelligence system has created its own fully functional AI child that's capable of outperforming its human-made equivalents. The computer-made system, known as NASNet, is designed to identify objects such as people and vehicles in photographs and videos. Studies show that NASNet is able to identify objects in an image with 82.7% accuracy. Google says this is an improvement of 1.2% over AI programs created by humans. The web giant has made the system open source, which means developers from outside the company can either expand upon the program or develop their own version. I'm Brad Nelson from Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's cloud computing, IoT, fintech and AI news highlights. And remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.